Meantime, Bitcoin is higher today, uh, trading just below 40K. The cryptocurrency has fallen about 15% since the launch of those ETFs. And one of those big funds seen a lot of money leaving. Kate Rooney is following all that action today. Morning, Kate. Hey, Carl. Good morning. Yeah, Bitcoin ETFs have seen more than a billion in net inflows so far. But there is one firm with by far the most money heading out the door. That is Grayscale. In the past day alone, it's seen about $640 million of outflows, that's according to FactSet. And then Fundstrat, meanwhile, estimates that since these ETFs launched, Grayscale's uh, seen about $3.5 billion in outflows. If you compare that to the other top names in this race, take BlackRock's ETF. It saw $1.6 billion come in the door. And then Fidelity's ETF, not far behind that. You can see those on the left side of the chart there. Grayscale is still the largest, about $21 billion in assets compared to under $2 billion. For BlackRock, there are a few reasons, guys, for that exodus. One is this successful arbitrage trade. Grayscale had an existing publicly traded product, and then it converted into an ETF. And before it was an ETF, GBTC, as the ticker is known, traded at a discount to Bitcoin. So some traders got in and they bet that that discount would disappear, which it did. Now they're taking some profits. And then there are bankruptcies. So companies like FTX held GBTC, and they're now selling as they restructure. FTX, for example, had about 22 million shares of Grayscale, and that's adding to some pressure, according to Fundstrat. And then those fees, guys, Grayscale charges 1.5 percent compared to zero or around 2 percent for some of the other uh, – 0.2 percent, rather, for some of the other ETFs. Bitcoin's price is still very much driven by some of the macro news out there. It's still a lot more important right now to watch things like strength in the dollar, repricing of Fed fund futures, FOMC meeting next week to get – an idea of where interest rates are headed. So some of the same things that are driving tech are still really what matters in crypto markets.